the First World War enlarged the experience of countless young Americans, liberating them from strict conventions that they had formerly accepted without question. Looking back on this period, the critic Alfred Kazin wrote, Everyone now seemed to belong to the younger generation, and the younger generation seemed to be everywhere. Many of them also had plenty of money to spend. But many writers in the post-war period were critical of their society's emphasis on material possessions. And they questioned the role of the financial and industrial giants who they felt were dominating the nation's life. Theodore Dreiser was one of the first modern writers to explore the varied effects of wealth and poverty on personal happiness. In his first novel, Sister Carrie, he writes about a working girl who flees to Chicago to escape from an oppressive small-town environment. When a girl leaves her home at 18, she does one of two things. Either she falls into saving hands and becomes better, or she rapidly assumes the cosmopolitan standard of virtue and becomes worse. In Chicago, Carrie learns that work, if it can be found, can be unbearably tedious and that sadness can undermine the will to achieve. She escapes from her job by becoming the mistress of a traveling salesman whom she does not love. <laughs> 